What's going on, Instagram? Hey, YouTube. This is P Peanut Butter. And I'm Jelly. Uh, A.K.A. Trey. And this is Miss Naya. Yes, and this is our channel. So, uh, when they tell y'all about how we met, uh, I'm the construction worker. This is Lawyer Babe. And it's a funny story, actually, because um, I don't believe both of us were, I don't think we were looking for relationships, were we? Not really, I had just gotten out of something. Yeah, and I was, I was lost in the sauce. I was trying to, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to what? Hit everything that was walking at that point. Oh, okay. How about you hit a but, book? Mm, nah, too, too cool for school. Anyway. But, but, I mean, at this point, um, sitting there swiping right. And I come across this gorgeous woman right here. And not even trying to be in a relationship. I haven't been thinking about it. Uh, just kind of connected on so many levels. And it's, it's weird how that happened. Because talking to her, it kind of felt like I was, it felt like I was at home. And I was talking to my best friend. So, I mean, what's your feelings on it? So you took my line because you've heard me say that before. Oh. That, so like we we talked for a little bit through like Tinder, and he was like, you know, can I call you? And I'm like, okay. So I dropped the numbers. And I'm like the first time I heard his voice, like like he said, he sounded like home. And I'm like I remember laying across my bed, like had this huge like smile on my face, and it was like, eh. And then I think we set up what for the next day. Yeah. To like work out. Yeah. And like I was at work because we were texting all day. Yeah. Texting um just just random stuff. Uh, uh what's your favorite show? Um uh how's your day going? Uh then I get then I text her and I said, um, I was hungry and I wanted to bring me some food and she asked me, Did I eat breakfast this morning? Uh, and I'm at my job working, and I was like, "No, Miss McCray, you can bring me some food." And this shocking reply I got back said, "No, Mr. Leach." And like, how you know my last name? We both asked the same yeah. question because he dropped my last name way too comfortably, uh -huh. and you know, Tinder does not show your last name. Yeah, so, so it was like you looked me up. Anytime you're dating somebody, you're going to do a little research we on them. Even, we haven't uh, even met each other yet. Uh, talking to somebody, you're going to do a little research I on them. I did my research, too. Yeah. Found both I'm, of his Facebook pages I mean, and I his believe, MySpace. I believe all black women are undercover PI detectives. So, I mean, they can find dirt in a snowstorm. I mean, I'm just, just, also just a, a lawyer. natural My a natural job talent. is to research. And that, too. So... But yeah, um, that conversation lasted and we uh, went on this workout date. Do you call it a date? It is a date. He came to see me. We worked out. And then we went to Target. Target is a date. I don't care who's asking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny because Target, I, I never really shop in Target. It's not my, I love Target. It's not my place. I mean, I'm a Walmart guy. Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I mean, those are those are my top three places. But, yeah, Target, I mean, did we even get anything that day? I think we were just walking around you know, the whole time. Stuff. And she wanted me to push her on this basket, push her in this <laughs> basket. Like, like, woman, you are 26 years old. Like, why am I pushing you? Why am I pushing your grown ass in the basket? But, like, you know, folks, uh, they like what they like. And <laughs> what we do up in there, just talking about people. Making yeah. loud noises. What you mean? You were being extra while we were walking through the aisles. You were drawing attention to us. Because mm -hmm. I tried to hide from you. Is that when we brought the football up in there? That wasn't. That was a different time. Oh, a different time? That okay. Was, yeah, that was a different time. No. Maybe I was making noises. I don't, I don't remember that. But I do remember her just being in awe. Like, just... She'd never been to Target before. Like with uh, with somebody, or I don't know what that was. What was it? No, what I was saying is like it's the small stuff that matters to me. So like, okay. you like 
I used to have to like pull teeth and nails to like get somebody to work out with me. Or, you know, hey, let's go to Target. Like, I don't really want anything. I just want to walk around. Like, folks aren't just jumping on that. Like, not for real, for real. And you were just like, okay, let's go. I never like to sit still. I mean, as far as if I'm, if I'm just hanging out that day, I mean, I've never liked to be still. I always want to do something. But, I mean, that was one of them things. I'm cool with it. You know, we ain't got to do much. You ain't got to hit the club or nothing. Hit Target. Target's like a little club itself. Target <laughs> is better than the club. <laughs> Target's a little club. It ain't like the Walmart club. Go to Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning, you'll see some crazy shit. I'm talking about craziness. That's because Target is respectable. <laughs> and overpriced. <laughs> First of all, not if you use the Target Circle app and you have coupons and I get 5% off because uh, I have a Target red card. So, uh, it's not overpriced. Uh, coupon queen over here. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with saving money. Coupon. 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 Q. Coupon. Q. Q. You, you, you the coupon. Q. Q. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. But that's one of our... Many, uh, I would say that was the first time we hung out for real, for real. It was the first time. Yeah. And then it just clicked after that. Um, couldn't help but just hanging out with one another. And it's funny because some of the things that we like is so similar. Like the music that we, uh, the music that we choose. Most I mean, of it. Most of it, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a 90s baby. I like all 90s music. Okay, you like I wasn't mm. born in the 90s, too. But you love the 70s and 60s music more than the 90s. Courtesy mm. of my grandpa. Okay. So, so when I get to the house, I'm like, throw on some music. And she puts on Al Green. Or what was it? Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. Or The Temptations. Or The Temptations. One of those three was playing at that time. I'm like, okay, she got a little soul in her. Just a little, just a little bit. Like, grandfather, like, you know, rest in heaven, you knew what you were doing. I'm all soul. Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> I mean, and we've been going strong ever since. It's been coming up on our year, our year anniversary. Uh, this April 29th, and yeah, just uh, been a long year. Long year. Uh, I'm not saying we've been perfect, but we're working on it. Mm -mm -mm. So, tell me a little bit more about you that they don't know. Um, we're, uh, we're homebodies. No, for real, for real. And we play entirely too much. Like, we're both goofballs. Mm -hmm. Like, Nerf gun fights, pillow fights, building a fort and watching Harry Potter, junk food fights. Just random stuff. I mean, we like, you can have fun at home. You don't always have to go to a club or to a main event or whatever. We we have fun at home, which is <laughs> which is new every time because we never know what we about to do. It's just random. It's Nerf gun fight right now. We ain't even got the straps. <laughs> you what? sure? Don't play. Stop. You sure? What you Nerf reaching gun. for? What you worried about? Keep talking. No. You ain't finna catch it. Oh, I was finna say, you're not finna catch Nervous. me. I'm not finna get got. Nervous. So, uh, I'm trying to think. The funniest date we went on. The funniest mm -hmm. date? As far as going out. Like, we couldn't we couldn't stop laughing. What was this place? And when we uh, went for a walk on the belt line, because you saw that lady that had the fishnets on, and then you took off running and left me there. Listen, to my defense, listen, before we even get into this story, I didn't even notice this lady. Until Bay said something. I didn't. I, I didn't even notice this woman. And she was like, oh, look down. Do this. And Trey, you don't see that? 
I'm like, what are you talking about? I did not. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And sure enough, I glance down and I see this little black chick with this fish, these fish nets on, and oh, boy, I, bless her heart. That's all I gotta say. You shaded. <laughs> bless her heart. <laughs> you shaded. I didn't even do all that. That was bad. It was you were bad. That, that was bad. You were bad. Oh, psh. you. She's saying I'm bad, but she ain't going to tell you about the time we went into J uh, Payless and saw this grown-ass man in these heels. You started and crying she, and she And she uh, did this weird face and looked at me like... <laughs> that is not so, the something that like that. Did. Something like that. Okay, he and couldn't even stay in the store. He ran out <laughs> the <of> school. <laughs> I was like, can you just wait for me to pay for these shoes? He's standing outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you laughing for? I forgot, yo, which, uh, which, uh, what's the name? Shopping center we were at. We, we was went, in the shopping we center. We were in the one by Cumberland. Oh, my God. Because we yeah. went to the Ross before that. Folks, this is a grown-ass man. Okay, like, people make choices. Like, grown, like. Okay, but he's, no, but, he, but he was killing in those hills. I'm no. just saying. Like, his his strut was impeccable. Like, I'm no. going to give props where props is due. No. It's the sickest thing I've ever seen. Right there. Okay. On that note, mm -hmm. let's move on, baby. Mm -hmm. let's, let's move on. Throughout the year, um, see, I think the biggest trial was, mm, it's been a few of them. I really can't think of the biggest one. We got some large ones. Um, but the point is that mm. we are still standing. Oh, yeah. Uh, anytime you're in a relationship, I mean, you can't just give up on somebody. Uh, just because things are going south for, uh, for one person or for the other or for both. Don't just quit on somebody. And through that, I mean, there's, there's loyalty and struggle. And this beautiful woman held it down. She held me down. And I have a different level of appreciation and love for her. So. I think we can end on that note. No. Well. We'll be back. We'll be back. 